I'm like, oh. A little slippery. A little slippery. Hello everybody coming at you with all my might. It's my how you guys doing today? Today we're going for a ride on the big wheel Yamaha YZ450 FX. My water pump is leaking. So I'm gonna rebuild that. But I'm also gonna change the oil at the same time. So I'm gonna go out for a ride and heat everything up. I just installed a new kickstand because I've lost a couple on this bike already. I got a new rear tire and got a new front tire. We put a lowering link to even the bike out more. So, ready to get into it, get some riding done. It should be set up for this year. Right now we're using the Insta360 Ace Pro. I have the GPS remote. We have it set in the low light mode because, I mean, we got a bright skies, it's snowing, but, in the woods, it's a little bit darker, so we're gonna use the low light mode. I might have a little too much pressure in these tires right now. I'm at, I'm at, uh, I'm at like 15, 16 pounds. So it's a little, they're a little, a little, a little on the firm side than what I would normally run. I think, I don't know. Well, we're going not exactly where I wanted to go. I was not expecting to go mudding quite yet. Welcome to March. This is March. We got snow, it just rained pretty much all day yesterday. And now we're getting snow. So everything, all the trails are just soup. So it's going to be hard for me to essentially see how well this tire does perform. The fronts is what I'm really worried about. And the, I mean the rear too, but it's going to be a little bit difficult because of it being so, so slick because everything just wants to wash out. But it should be adventures. It's always an adventure. Always an adventure. The deer have been using my trail. I'll tell you one thing. Despite the big wheel weighing an extra 100 pounds over stock, this bike weighs 360 pounds. It, uh, with, with actually having round tires on it, it makes a world of a difference. My little stream path is a little overflowed right here, so. We're gonna hopefully hit this and make it, oh yeah, we got it. Whew, I did not like that. Uh-oh. Okay, there we go. I don't know what that was. I just wanted to make sure I wasn't skipping on the sprocket, and I'm not. I'm not. Everything's good. Just a little dirty. Not skipping on the sprocket. It's a little chonky. chunky but I need to clean this all up as you can see my uh, my plastic here broke 
I'm gonna be deleting a lot of this because it's it's broken. This speedometer did not last, and then my mount, I got some fuel from an overflow line that landed on top of that, and fuel eats plastic, so it just ate the plastic and ruined my mount. It is soupy. Definitely think I'm gonna have to. Holy crap! Ugh. Getting snow in my eyes. I'm gonna have to lower the pressure down a little bit. Now these are radial tires, so it's a little bit different than what I have been running. I was running bias tires, and then I switched over to another. I think another one was radial, but I can't see. A little bit different. They have a stiffer carcass because they're designed to hold up uh, ATVs like the Can-Am Renegade. So this is obviously much, much lighter than than the Renegade would be. So it's going to play a little bit into the the effectiveness of it. You can see my my, my contact patch is pretty narrow like it kind of looks like a straight up dirt bike contact patch so i definitely think i could get more out of it if i deflated the tires just a tad and and they're and they're really walking around on me but how much is that is the fact that this is just swamp like i'm just i'm just spinning in here swampy snow the heck is just a sketchy swamp field as well. Just keeping that front up. 